Good morning, my, my name is Dr. Amit Chakt. I am uh, Associate Professor of Radiology in the University of Michigan. Today I will talk to you about uh, N, uh, HRCT, HRCT is high resolution CT and I will focus on uh, nodules as we see in HRCT. So I will give you a very short introduction basically. And here is a CT image you can see here, this uh, example of CT image. And I want you to focus on this part of the lungs, can you see this uh, line there and a few other lines? These are interlobular septa. So these interlobular septa encompass a secondary pulmonary lobule, which is a basic functioning unit of uh, the lung. So the nodules could be present in uh, any uh, location in the inter, uh, along the interlobular septa or within the uh, pulmonary lobule or randomly in the lungs. So there are th then three kinds of nodules which could be present Number one, along the interlobular septa, for instance, around here, if you can see that, or they could be present within the center of the pulmonary lobule, or they could be present randomly, uh, distributed randomly all along the lung, parenchyma. The fourth type is tree in bud nodules, which you can see down there, you can see these tiny dots of uh, nodules, which are small airways plugged with uh, secretions. So the interlobular septal nodules are primarily based uh, on within the lymphatics. So these are called perilymphatic nodules. This, these could be present in sarcoidosis, uh, lymphangitis carcinomatosis, lymphoma, and other granulomatous disorders. Um, some infections can do that too. And the second kind I talked about was inter, uh, uh, secondary pulmonary lobule. Uh, within the center of the lobule, there are some nodules which are called centrilobular nodules. Usually t uh, they are ill-defined, Ill they can be seen in respiratory bronchiolitis, acute hypersensitivity pneumonitis, some infections such as aspergillus. The third kind as, as I said was randomly distributed nodules, the diseases which are uh, spread through the lungs due to uh, blood, uh, through blood, uh, random, uh, they are randomly distributed and they can be present in miliary tuberculosis, uh, metastases, uh, the major cause. The fourth one, as I mentioned earlier, are tree in bud nodules, which were first described when MAI infections. And they can be now, can now be seen in other mycobacterial infections. They could also be present in asthma due to mucoid impaction of the small airways.